Calamity! Hello everyone, we're going to talk about Hell Divers. This is a PS3, PS4, and a Vita crossover platform game. Well, not platform, stab. Cross platform game. <clears throat> uh, it is only available digitally for the PS3 and Vita, and only recently available physically for the PS4 with all of its DLC included. You get a nifty code, your save is cross-platform, and you can play cross-platform. So you can even give the code for the Vita and PS3 to a friend and still play. So physically, it's fine now. Get the code inside, and obviously your disc is in my system, as it always seems to be a lot of times. I wonder why. <laughs> Uh, this game was created by a company called Arrowhead, which doesn't spring to mind at all, but it is a really enjoyable twin stick shooter. Um, if you're not familiar with that terminology, that is a game similar to like Smash TV, where you're in a top down view and you have one stick that's controlling the movement of your character and the other stick controlling where you're aiming your gun. So you could be like moving down, shooting up, and then that. And it gets chaotic of that. It, it's very similar to Smash TV in a way where you're playing on the hollow difficulty planets with tons of enemies will swarm over you, which is why this is a multiplayer game. Up to four players can go on a mission on either the Vita, PS3, or 4, and they can also bring local people in and have fun. Now, how the game's story basically opens up with a little short opening where well, you're basically soldiers of Super Earth and three alien races threaten the safety of the galactic galaxy. And those are bugs, a cyborg race, and a bunch of uh, squid alien protoss kind of like creatures. And all three of them have their different advantages and weaknesses that you'll have to take advantage as you fight them. Now what's really fun is this is one of the games that are community based. Everyone in the community has to help take over territory and attack the enemy planet and or defend ally planets or even super earth which I would assume is a very rare occurrence, but Super Earth can also be attacked because there was actually a trophy for defending Super Earth. But primarily it's, it's all community based. You have to get to a certain influence number of that objection on that planet, whether it's an enemy planet or ally planet, and to succeed or that or to take over the enemy planet. Now certain ones like when the cities are attacked or you're taking over the enemy home planet are time based and are usually over 20 hours long and if the community does not get max influence in that time they fail and get shot back at territorial spot. So it is very community driven to where everyone has to help each other. There's also a special planet where it has kind of like a boss on it that you can access for each race that also you have to have a certain amount of influence in that part of the galaxy to attend that. I've only fought the bug race. Um, I have completed a war though, which is mainly why we we're talking about. Well, I haven't really done everything in the game yet. Um, won a Galactic War, got to fight all three races, and level 19 right now in the game. Still enjoying it. Still some things to unlock in it. Now, um, I also want to throw out there for anyone curious, because obviously at this point it sounds like this is a very online heavy game. There is an offline mode. There is an offline playing of this game. Which... It's something I miss games like this offering. Because while it's incredibly fun to play with the community in it, one day the plug will be pulled. And it will end up stuff like uh, Chrome Hounds and that. Well, you'll never be able to experience that interaction or anything similar to it ever. Luckily, there is an offline mode and there is local playing up to four players. So. 
Just like in the normal online mode, you can help conquer the enemy territories and win over the plants. Uh, this is a lot harder, though, when you're playing in single player, because only you and whoever locally are joining are the people who have to get all the influence in there. Now, I don't know if the influence gets balanced because you're playing in single player. I don't know about that. But if it doesn't, then you have a lot of fucking mortal to commit. Lots of it. <laughs> but you can do the whole game in single player, but it is vastly harder. That, I'm sure of. Now, probably my biggest criticism with the game is the little objectives. Basically, the planets are the difficulty in every section as you get closer and closer to the enemy base. Every single planet has a difficulty mode from, e like, I think it's like Cakewalk to Helldivers difficulty. So, the amount of objectives, what type of enemies appear on that planet of that particular race, and, um, even the rewards you get because you get a lot of stratagem rewards based on different planets and that. Now if you've already got the stratagem for that planet level then it will just offer bonus experience for your leveling up. Primarily uh, I haven't gone over difficulty like 9-10 on planet number difficulty scale which I believe 12 was Helldiver, so that was getting pretty close to high up there, and it gets pretty chaotic. Like I said, each race is different, like the Squid Protoss kind of race is very technological, beam sniping off screen kind of shit, and shields and stuff, while the Bug race can have lots and lots of armor and such on them, while the Cyborgs deal with a lot of military, like they have tanks and things they can use against you. So you don't always want to simply bring in the exact same arsenal against each one. And if you're playing with four players, take advantage, especially if you can communicate with each other, take advantage of strategizing your stratagems properly. Because there's a lot of different things in you. Having a person designed to be more stockpiley, we supply people, and another person being very offensive, defensive, it can really help a lot. You know, strategy because a lot of the higher level plants get very chaotic. But, um, for the advancing your character, your levels primarily control uh, getting new guns and uh, special attachments. Like, you start out with a laser attachment, but later on you can get like a a basically take one hit shield teleporter thing. You can get um, a thing that lowers the cooldown of your stratagems. Uh, things that alter your primary, uh, no, your your secondary pistol. Like one can change into a revolver and that. Um, but that's mainly what your levels are unlocking as you level up. So actually developing your stratagems, your weapons and that, are controlled by a research management. Um, when you're on planets, you can find uh, samples. When you get 10, you get one research point. You also get a research point for every level up, but that's only one. A lot of uh, stronger stratagems and higher upgrades for weapons use two to three research points. But a lot of early stuff uses one research point. So uh, as you get later in the game, you're going to need more and more research points. And as it takes longer to level up, you're going to rely more on samples than levels to get research points. Like really early on, you use a lot of your levels research points to help develop what you want. But it starts taking longer and longer and longer to level up. But overall, it's simple, cool. You just land on a planet, and based on the difficulty, you have so many objectives. Like capture this point, kill these so many enemies, kill this one Pacific enemy, launch this missile, protect this, help guide these people to this building, take this briefcase to this building, uh, blow up this thing. It's like 
you get a wide of ejection, a, a wide range of different objection objectives, but they get shuffled around in that. And primarily, though, they get recycled through because this is a game that relies a lot on replayability, and replaying with your friends is where a lot of the enjoyment comes from. Or some randoms, but, you know, randoms also have the horrible effect of murdering you. Because in this game, friendly fire is on constantly. So, you not only have to work as a proper team, you need to be aware of where people are standing, because you can brutally murder someone by a flick of your trigger button, very simply. So, luckily you can revive each other basically infinitely, but that hurts your uh, mission score, though at the end, so obviously you're encouraged to not die very often. However, you can die as often as you want, as long as somebody's alive, to respawn everyone with the cooldown reinforcement stratagem. But primarily, it, it is a game that focuses a lot on replayability. It's definitely a great couch co-op game. It has online co-op. It has a single player. So it's great all way on that regard, and it has all its DLC, and it's thirty nine ninety nine brand new if you're not looking like anywhere well there might even a price drop or somewhere like I think it's thirty one dollars right now on Amazon. But it, this is definitely the way to go because uh, if you go with it normally digitally, um, you'd have to buy the base game and then all the DLC and stuff. Now I think there is an upgrade download that's named after this version, the Super Earth Ultimate Edition, I think, if I remember quickly when I looked, but don't quote me on that. But this is still a very good deal for a physical version of the game, and there's no codes or anything to access the online mode of the game, so if you're looking to buy a pre-owned version sometime in the future, that's an option also. But obviously, like I said, if you want the PS3 or Vita version, that's digital only, which you get both in that. So you really benefit if you have a Vita in one of the consoles. Because, like, I could go to New York, bring my Vita with me, and I could still be playing Helldivers online. Or just offline, or whatever I want to do. So, it it has a lot of advantages if you have multiple systems. And like I said, at the same time, in my kind of situation, I'm probably never going to really play on the Vita or PS3, so I can give that to a friend and they can play online. So, you're essentially getting two copies of the game. And yes, it only lists one code, so the PS3 and Vita codes all linked together. So, that is just one extra copy that they can play on two systems. A handheld and a system. So, it all depends on what you want to do there. But, I think it's a great price. I've really been enjoying it. I've been playing quite a bit of it on and often with a few viewers and that. I've encouraged a few of my friends to also get it. It's a fun, fun game if you like twin stick shooter style games. Which is a very arcade type of gameplay. If you want to run the arcades and you probably haven't seen a lot of stick shooter type games. But I really enjoy them. They're always a blast when they're co-op. And I just like everything about this game. I don't I don't really have a lot of complaints. I haven't ran into any bugs, freezing or anything. Though when the game digitally was brand new, there was a bug well, there was something, um, if your controller died, it deleted your save data or something. Obviously, uh, this is the newest version of the game, so I would assume that was patched long before this physical version of the game was even made, so I don't think that should be a problem. I have no real complaints with the game. I'm pretty satisfied. I feel like I got my bang for my buck, and I'm still playing it. You can play multiple wars. Once all the wastes have been wiped out, the war just repeats again. And you can finish up doing other trophies or just having more wild, crazy fun. And you don't even have to do the hardest difficulty planets to experience the end of the Galactic Campaign. Like I said, it's a team effort between all the Hell Divers to win the war. So, you know, you could essentially do almost nothing and help win the war, really, because... 
be honest, I would think it's pretty hard to lose until the player base dies out very bad, but... Overall, I, I really enjoy it. I look forward to continuing to play it on and off here and there. It's enjoyable in that fashion, but it's also very repetitive, too, is probably the biggest complaint in variety of the missions and that. And not having really a serious story at all. It's played down very goofily where the characters are obsessed with uh, liberty and democracy and shit. They'll run around throwing grenades for democracy and that, so it's not played seriously at all. There's nothing serious about the game at all. It's just played out in a completely jokerly manner, not very in-depth or anything, so you're not going to find some cryptic story or anything. It's pure cooperative fun, whether it's sitting on the couch or online battling alien scum. I also kind of feel like there's a little hidden undertone of maybe a little too much democracy in the game, maybe. Like, why are the, why are the cockpit people, the soldiers near the multiplayer or teleport thing, says something about, um... I think he said something about the executions that happen on Super Earth with democracy or something. I can't remember the line, but it was really fucking over-the-top stupid. But, um... Yeah, I mean, that's what I'd say. All the music is pretty standard, kind of like when you get found out by the enemies patrolling the planet. It gets a little action-y, and then when you get uh, back into a war to nobody knows where you are again, it just kind of plays like kind of a environmental feeling kind of music. So, music, it works, but it's nothing you're going to throw on an iPod, walk down the street going, ba beam ba 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 I'm the scare me. <laughs> but, um... That's really all I have to say about Helldivers. It's just a very good community-based online stick shooter game, which I definitely appreciate the fact they let you have a single-player offline mode if you don't have online, which I really wish a lot of games that have online-style games would at least awful. I wouldn't think it'd be very hard, but... but I, mean, I recommend Helldivers. If you're interested in it, check it out. And let me know, I more people to play with, more power, yeah. If you have any questions about Hell Divers, please leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time. Praise the sun. Until next time.
Dropping equipment. Supplies incoming. Supplies incoming. Supplies incoming. Dropping equipment.
Dropping equipment. Broadcasting Hell Diver emergency signal. Equipment on its way. Equipment on its way.
Incoming. 